warm up your lunge, a good exercise is just to get in a lunge position and do that weight transfer exercise. Stay forward as I go back, stay back as I go forward. And that sort of warms up the movement and makes sure that there's movement in your hips, knees, and ankles. And then I can step out of the lunge and step into the lunge. So we're letting the weight go into the back leg, releasing the front leg. Knee is nice and soft so I can get a good kick. So when I practice the lunge, I want to practice lunges this way with kicks of different lengths. So I... The lunge really accelerates at the end based on what you're doing with your back leg. The back leg is working from the back of the leg. So you're doing this action, engaging your hamstring and your calf and really the bottom of your foot. So you're pushing this way. I really like to practice that. A lot of people struggle with that. To practice that, I really like reaching and then just jumping forward so you feel what it's like to use your leg. That's what your back leg is doing. So if I keep my weight back, kick, and unwind my leg and keep it back, now it's a lunge. One of the biggest problems with lunging is recovering from the lunge. A lot of people get to here and they try and pull themselves back. Really what the, the exercise should be is you're staying, your weight stays forward, you're pushing back with the front leg and letting the back leg bend. So I call it pushing and accepting the weight. So lunge, push and accept the weight by bending the back leg. Remember early on we did this, this weight transfer exercise and it's really the same thing. Stay forward and bend, stay back and bend. Stay forward, recover from the lunge. Keeping the weight on the back foot as you begin to lunge may not be that hard when you're making a lunge as a static move, but once you're in movement, that seems to be much harder for people. So I like to practice the following sequence to, to help you get better at that. So if you start off, if you finish a step, you know, if you're finishing a step, you finish the step, this foot comes down and then you start. So if we started in the middle there, we would call that a drop lunge. Lift the foot, put it down, and lunge. And that helps you stay back. Weight goes back and lunge. It's also helpful to practice that as a half retreat lunge. So the foot goes back, weight goes into that foot, kick, and lunge. Bum, bum. Once you're good at that, now you've got a pretty good chance to make a better advanced lunge. This is the problem is people advance lunge and they don't stay back, they fall forward. So now that I've practiced those two, it should be easier to stay back as I make the advanced lunge. And if I was going even faster with the advance, it's even harder and I'm really right now thinking about it a lot. So I'm making a quick step and thinking back foot, stay back. An extremely important movement in fencing is to be able to start a slow advance and then quickly finish the advance and lunge. We call that, in, we call that an accelerated attack. So that move, we've, we've done a lot to facilitate that at this point. We take a nice accelerating advance, one, I'm finishing the advance quickly, one, and I also know how to tie the steps together, one, start the kick. So if I start slow and fast and kick right away and stay back, now I'm making a nice accelerated advanced lunge. Whoop, pow. Whoop, pow. So when you attack from a forward moving position, we often start slow and end fast. But if your opponent finishes an action and then you're going to catch them, we want to, uh, then we want to attack with a, an advanced lunge that's quick. So the beginning of that step will be quick. So I get out of distance. And then I quickly start the advance. So get out of distance, quickly start the advance and get into that lunge right away. Bum, 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 da -da, da. There are many situations in fencing where I'll be starting to go back and then I'll decide to lunge. Well, in my mind, when I'm preparing to retreat, my weight is mostly forward. So I'm waiting for my opponent to come, my weight's here. Well, how do I get into a lunge from that position? All I have to do is transfer and release. So I'm thinking about when I go back, I'm in the front foot, I'm in the front foot, I'm in the front foot, and when I lunge, I sink to that back foot. So I can go back, go back, and then drop into that back foot and kick the front. So if you're going backwards this way, it's very hard. So I've gotta make sure I'm moving in the joints, I'm moving properly, my weight's staying forward, and then it's easy to go from backwards to forwards. So all it is is suddenly drop and kick. So my weight's in this foot, now it's in the back foot. One way to confuse your opponents is you're often moving forward, slow beginning, slow beginning, slow beginning. So if I can take a slow beginning step into a fast step, I can often catch them. So now I'm attacking this way. Slow step, advance, lunge. But one thing that makes it a little quicker is if I can really tie the two steps together. So I'm going 
step, drop, step. So if that, if that st second step is quick, now I've really confused them because I was going bum, 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 bum. Now I'm going bum, 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 bum. And so they're surprised by the sudden change of speed. Da -da, ba -ba -ba. Another way to catch your opponent is to change speeds. So I always, I want to practice this phrase. I want to practice fast, slow, fast. So the slow is just one half of a step. Fast, and then I begin the next step slow, and then I turn that into an accelerated attack. Fast, slow, fast. From an on-guard line, typically you're going to start off, though, with a slow step and the fast step. Slow, slow, fast, slow, fast. That's a typical rhythm. But often people, people get stuck right here. They go fast, and then they stand here for a while, and then they go into the next step too late. So I want to practice, I want to make sure I go fast and release right away. So I land and I release that leg right away. I just swing it slowly. Fast, slow. Uh, some coaches really encourage you to stay down all the time so you're ready to move. Being ready to move is more about having soft knees and aiming your weight correctly. So I think it's useful to practice this exercise. I'm standing with my legs straight and I'm going to bend and go into my, immediately into my front leg, and now I'm retreating. So from a standstill, there's my retreat. From a standstill, I can aim to the back leg, and there's my advance. So I'm just here, and there I go. I'm just standing here, and now I'm advancing. Same with a lunge. From, if I want to lunge from here, aim to the back, release the front, and kick. So I'm standing, and now I'm lunging. I'm just standing here, now I'm lunging. If you're actually fencing, it might be step, lunge. 